फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड लेडी बर्ड क्लासिक्स द गुलेवर्स ट्रैवल्स दिस स्टोरी इज रिटन बाय जोनाथन स्विफ्ट रिटोल बाय मैरी स्टुअर्ट एंड इलस्ट्रेटेड बाय सी आर एंड डफ दिस स्टोरी हैज अ कंटेंट ऑफ टेन चैप्टर्स व्हिच वी विल बी व्हिच वी विल बी कव चैप्टर 1 माय अराइवल इन अ स्ट्रेंज लैंड आई वाज फॉर सम इयर्स अ फिजिशियन इन लंदन बट माय बिजनेस हैड बिगन टू फेल So having consulted with my wife I decided to go to sea on May 4th 1699 I said goodbye to my family and set sail from Bristol as a ship's doctor bound from for the south seas all went well for the first few weeks then there was a bad storm and the was wrecked six of the crew of whom I was one got into a little boat and began to row to an island nearby suddenly a huge wave upset the boat and all the other men were lost only i lemuel gulliver was left i swam as long as i could at last just i could swim no more my feet touched the bottom i waded through the water to the shore where there was no sign of houses or people i walked about half a mile further but still saw no one tired out i lay down on the short soft grass and went to sleep when i woke up it was daylight I lay still for a moment wondering where I was then tried to get up I could not move my arms or my legs or my head I was tied tied to the ground there was a buzzing noise near me I could not see what was making it suddenly I felt something moving on my left leg it walked up me and stopped close by the chin it looked I looked down as well as I could for my hair was tied to the ground and saw a tiny man less than 6 inches with a bow and arrow in his hands then uh, many more of these little men started to run all over me i was so surprised that i roared loudly they ran back in fright and fell over one another trying to get away i found out later that some of them had hurt themselves when they fell from my chest i managed to break the strings that tied my left arm to the ground and pulled some of my hair loose so that i could move my head this made the little men even more afraid and they shot arrows at me some fell on my hands and some on my face pricking me like needles and making my skin sore wherever they landed the little men stood around at distance watching me after a while when they saw that i was not going to hurt them they got cut some of the strings that bound me this at least allowed me to move my head more freely now i could see that they had built a little platform beside my head so that they could talk to me a well dressed gentleman climbed up and began to speak to me he spoke for some time but i could not understand him and i began to grow hungry i pointed to my mouth and pretended to chew he seemed to understand at once and sent men to bring me food and drink ladders were put against my sides and over a hundred of the little men climbed up bringing baskets of meat and bread each piece of meat was the size of one sp- small piece of mince so i had to keep asking for more the loaves were so tiny that i ate three at a time i drank a whole barrel of their wine at a gulp which was not difficult to do as the barrel held hardly half a pint they kept looking at each other as if they could not believe it was possible to drink so much but they brought me some more which uh, more wine which i drank as well i made signs to let them know i would not try to escape and they loosened the strings so that i could turn on my side they also put some ointment on my face and hands which took away the soreness their arrows had caused then i fell asleep again